What is going on everybody, Zonic here, and in today's video, I'm bringing Double Dragon back. It looks very strong this season, I'm also going to be pairing it here with an Empoleon lead. Empoleon with its Steel Typing and Steel Wing update is a very nice pairing with the Core of Shadow Dragonite. Now I'm going to be utilizing a normal Dragonair here as the safe swap. You could put in some other options if you want to, uh, such as Gudra for example, uh, but this is uh, this team was all positive sets. It was very strong and very fun to use. There's a lot of good wins and losses in today's video, very close battles and a lot of booms. So hope you guys enjoy. All right, getting into the first battle, we have Empoleon on the lead versus Gavantula. Uh, Gavantula can actually do pretty well against this team. So it's gonna be teamwork in order to take this Pokemon down as they decide now to swap into Medicham. Medicham's another Pokemon, right? Counter and Ice Punch is, uh, is very tough for this team to potentially handle uh, but thankfully because of dragon breath and body slam we're gonna be able to shred through it pretty quick now I thought I had the count here at six so I shielded but it was power-up punch I could have gotten away with a free no shield right there but I was definitely anticipating maybe I just miscounted um, I was anticipating ice punch maybe they did build up to six and then baited me uh, so be it uh, but we do get two shields there which obviously shadow dragonite is gonna love now, I could easily come in with Shadow Dragonite and fast move down, but what I'm concerned about is the Power Up Punch, Ice Punch combination. So I'm going to utilize Empoleon here to soak the Power Up Punches. I don't think they have Dynamic Punch, which they don't. They just have Power Up Punch. So that's fine. I can get myself a bit of energy as uh, we're going to be able to Steel Wing down. Double Power Up Punch is definitely going to hurt, but we will be able to fast move down and we still have a good amount of health remaining. Now, Gavantula coming in right here. We are able to get to the Hydro Cannon, which is perfect. You guys are going to see Empoleon right here. Clutch. Boom! One shots it. We're going to swap out right away and it's a Bastidon in the back. Everyone buckle up. Prepare to see the power of Shadow Dragonite here we go. Shadow Dragonite is an absolute monster. I love using in the Great League. Bastion on boom! See ya! One shot it. And that is gonna be a good game. Very well played. Alright. Moving to the next one. Empoleon. Gavantula. I saw Gavantula a lot with this team. We're gonna go ahead and swap out into the Dragonair now, get ahead on energy. This time the opponent is deciding to stay in and throw lunge as a debuff which is okay with me. That means their energy dry. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go. And they swap in a Polyrath. Now, this is another tough situation to be in. Uh, when we consider the moveset available to Polyrath, counter an Icy Wind. That obviously core breaks this whole team. So what we need to do is leverage our defenses on Empoleon to soak the charge move energy. This is going to be dicey, it's going to be close, but I cannot come in with Dragonite because I will have to shield, um, and I don't want to do that. Uh, I think Dragonite might have some potential to close this game out. We let one Icy Wind go through. We're going to go ahead and go for Drill Peck now to do super effective damage. We're hoping they throw the second Icy Wind. And when they do, we're swapping out into Dragonite. Because we should be able to survive this Icy Wind damage because it's double resisted. So we're going to go ahead and swap out right away and pray that they don't have a hard counter. And granted, Basudon got shredded last game. Let's see what they have this game. They bring back in... Gavantula. And remember, it was energy dry, which means we're going to get the full fast move down. And the final Pokemon is a grass. It's going to be superior. So this is going to be a good game. Shadow Dragonite is going on an absolute tear in today's video. I had so much fun using it, pairing it with Empoleon. I think that's very important. And mind you, I don't have Shadow Empoleon. Uh, I think the, the normal Empoleon's uh, bulk that's added to it uh, has really helped out. If we were Shadow in some of these situations, we wouldn't be able to survive the uh, Metacham or the Polyrath right there. So good game. All right, moving into the next one. Empoleon versus Giratina Origin. Obviously a tough one right here. We're going to go ahead and swap out into Dragonair to get ahead on energy. And they bring in Reggie Steel. So Reggie Steel is a tough Pokemon for this team to face off against. But what we need to do is calculate what could be in the back. Uh, Giratina Origin and Registeel make a very good uh, 
core because of the counters that they have to each other, the coverages that they have for each other, right? Scrafty's a big core breaker there, but Scrafty hasn't been too common this season, especially with Annihilate and Poliwrath um, and Vigoroth. So what we're looking to do is we are going to completely sacrifice our Empoleon because I'm going to have to shield in order to stop the charge move. And I may not be able to fast move down in time before they get to a second steel, uh, focus blast. Actually, I don't think they would. I would be able to fast move down here. But we're going to fully trust. If this is the hardest counter to the Dragonite because of the steel resistance, we are going to trust in it. They swap into Giratina Origin. So we are going to go ahead and farm down aggressively. If they have something like Shadow Alolan Sand Slash in the back, so be it. It's all over. But if they don't, if they don't, let's find out. It is going to be a Talon Flame. So we are cooking right here. We're going to go ahead and go for Dragon Claws now. Obviously, we're going to need three. My opponent has two shields remaining. Incinerate is a charge move that we can easily throw on correct alignment. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And this is now going to be a race as we go for Dragon Claw number two. They're going to be able to get to the Flame Charge here. We're going to have to shield. But what I'm hoping for, I'm desperate for, is that I can get to Dragon Claw before the next incinerate damage can come through and I don't they get it through in time but remember Reggie Steel has no health remaining Dragon Breath versus lock on who is gonna win Shadow Reggie Steel oh the Reggie Steel takes it with one HP in a dream good battle all right moving to the next one we have Empoleon versus Gavantula. I saw this is all I saw in my sets. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the Dragonair once again. They're deciding to stay in. Um, and you know, this time I'm like, I'm considering if I can get more use case out of Dragonair, but ultimately the call is to let Lunge go, right? And we do see a Trevenant swap in. So Trevenant is a tough Pokemon to deal with for this team because of Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball. Um, but thankfully, because of Dragon Breath and the chip damage here from Aqua Tail, we can get him below 50% HP. Now, Empoleon with that added Steel Typing is pivotal because they don't, uh, they don't we don't take as much damage from Seed Bomb, right? We do need to watch out for Shadow Ball. But what I'm hoping for here is an aggressive farm down on my end to get a lot of energy. And uh, we're going to go ahead and no shield. And it was a Seed Bomb. So that's a great call right there. If it was Shadow Ball, so be it. But they decided to go for double Seed Bomb. So now I'm forced to shield regardless. And now what we're hoping for is to have enough energy to uh, put pressure here on the Gavantula. But it's actually a Lantern in the back. So now we have to go into Dragonite. We're behind on shields. There's two electric Pokemon. We have Spark and Volt Switch with a Shadow Dragonite. I have no shields remaining. But the Shadow Dragonite, everyone, trust in the dragon. We are about to put in some work right here. Dragon Claw now coming through. They're obviously going to be shielding. They're going to be racing to get to that next Thunderbolt in time. I'm going to go ahead and throw the next Dragon Claw here. And this is now going to be a very, very close game because the, uh, the uh, Lantern decide to let it go. They swap into Gavantula and they get farmed down just in time. Dragonite has the Dragon Claw ready to go. This is going to be forcing the final shield from my opponent. And unfortunately for them, my Empoleon has energy so I can go for the Hydro Cannon on charge attack priority. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a good game. Very well played. Boom. See ya. This team was a lot of fun. It's cooking today, everyone. All right, moving into the next one. Empoleon, Bastidon. All right, we finally got a good lead. Let's lock it down here. Their safe swap is going to be a Gallade. We're bringing in the Shadow Dragonite to make sure we resist those super, uh, yeah, uh, close combats. Sorry. So we're going to go ahead and shield. It will one-shot. Doesn't matter if it's resisted. This is a Shadow Gallade. You do not mess around. So we can aggressively farm down now. We have superpower ready to go. We're hoping to be able to get to two against Bastion, but this is going to be... Oh, maybe I should have... I should... I'm um, looking back at that. I should have gone for the the, the, the back to back. I, I messed up right there. Yeah, I don't get it in time. Nope, I don't get it in time. I should have should have gone to the back to back, but that's okay. Um, slight mistake on my end in terms of my timing uh, to because the uh, back to back would have secured a shield But we bring in the Empoleon and we are able to farm down now opponent gets to a flamethrower in time Which is totally fine, but they throw a stone edge All right, 
And, uh, and then we see Shadow Victory Belt in the back, and you guys obviously know. Uh, Dropek right here is going to even up the shields, and then our Dragonair is going to be taking this game with Dragon Breath, and that is going to be a good game, very well played. There's not a lot they can do. See ya! Double Dragon, here to stay! Alright, moving to the next one, Empoleon versus Metacham on the lead. Obviously a very tough lead in a Pokemon, like I said, this whole team struggles against. Um, so we will see a Lickitung swapping. Now, just because it struggles against doesn't mean it can't overcome. If I was to say it's a hard wall, that's something that this team cannot overcome, but it struggles against means the counter and ice punch damage has utility against my team. Um, so I need to utilize teamwork and energy in order to overcome that. So here against the Lickitung, I make a slight mistake and I go for Body Slam. And you might be wondering, why wouldn't I, right? Well, my opponent makes the smart play. They decide to no shield because they know they can get to the next Body Slam in time. And that Metacham has quite a bit of energy, so I would just get outpaced to the double Ice Punch if I come in with my Dragonite. So now I'm in a in a catch-22. I am, uh, this is not good. I should have no shield, or should have not thrown the Body Slam there against Lickitung, so I get more energy with Metacham. So now I'm hoping for them to dump their energy, and I'm hoping it's resisted, right? I'm hoping it's Ice Punch, I'm hoping it's Psychic. But we get the Dropex Shield, so now I'm going to go ahead and swap into Dragonite. We are still behind on energy, but we have the 2 to 1 shields now. So I think I should be able to outpace, um, to, but they have to get to 3 Ice Punches by the time I get to 2 Dragon, or Dragon Claws. Which now, looking at it, I might not be able to outpace. So Ice Punch is going to be coming through. They swap in a Feraligator, and that is going to be a good game. So, slight misplays on my end right there. I could have um, no shielded, or not no shielded, not thrown the body slam against Lickitung. I could have potentially come in and farm down with Dragonite um, to really start ramping up my energy there against Metacham instead of coming in with Empoleon. Ultimately, Shadow for Alligator is a, is a monster this season. I'm sure you guys have felt the full force of it or you've enjoyed using it yourselves. I'm excited to Elite TM mine once I get to level 20 uh, because you do get, I believe, get an Elite Charge TM there. But good game to my opponent. All right, Empoleon versus Hakamo'o. So this is, uh, this is a tough one. Um, because you gotta watch out for Brick Break, but thankfully we are doing super effective damage with Drill Peck here. This is what's really nice, and we also have Dragon Breath damage on the back end. So Hakamo'o is a Pokemon that this team can handle. You just gotta be kind of careful how you handle it, because there's gonna be Brick Break and there's gonna be Dragon Claws that you gotta look out for. Now, Brick Break isn't a move I need to shield first, but they actually throw a Dragon Claw, which I thought was interesting. Um, I was fully expecting the Brick Break defensive debuff spam, but they didn't go for it, and they let it go down. So I'm like, okay, I'm bringing in the Dragonair. In comes Whizcash. I'm thinking maybe they're weak to um, to Empoleon in the back, or maybe they had multiple answers. But it, either way, we're saving Empoleon just in case because there's always there always could be a Charmer back there. Everyone, you always want to save the Empoleon just in case. As we go ahead and go for Body Slam Spam now against Whizcash. Now in this situation, I could give up a shield. And I could try to race to the next charge move, but I think the better play is to give two shields to our Shadow Dragonite, right? And we still have Empoleon, so there's still some health there to play with. So we're going to go ahead and come in with a Dragonite. We're going to aggressively farm down and give up a shield on the Scald. Uh, Scald like Shadow Dragonite, right? Any resisted charge move is still going to do a lot of damage. So when you have a situation like this, we're freely going to give up the shield and it's actually Skeledurge in the back. So that is going to be a good game. Um, Dragonite right here is obviously going to be taking it relatively easily with the shield advantage and energy advantage that we do have. And that is going to be a good game. So we're going to go ahead and throw the last Dragon Claw. They had to get to double disarming voice in order to take me out, which they did not have enough time. And yeah, Wish Cash goes down. So good battle. All right. Moving into the next one, Empoleon versus Dragonair. Okay, so Dragonairs, I've said this in so many videos, and I'll say it again. Dragonair pairs well with Lantern or 
Bastiodon. Now they bring in a Feraligator right here, which is a very tough safe swap to deal with, and in which is why I loved using uh, Feraligator as my own personal safe swap in a lot of my teams this season. Now obviously, when I create teams for new videos, I'm not going to be using the same Pokemon every single video. But what I will suggest is if you have a Feraligator, look to leverage that. It's incredibly strong in this meta. And if I was to build a team in order to, to push rating or to climb, Feraligator would be on it or like top consideration for it, depending on what else I'm looking at with the roster. But Feraligator is, is meta. It is very strong. Now, we decided to shield twice in that matchup, and that's due to the fact uh, that we need to maintain switch advantage right here, as we're going to go ahead and go for body slams, take out the Dragonair, and it's actually Trevin in the back. So it wasn't a Lantern. Lantern could still be handled with this team, and I have to finesse it a little bit, um, basically catching a charge move. Uh, but Dragonite is going to be able to do a lot of damage with Dragon Breath. And we do get to the Dragon Claw in time. Outpace, or charge attack priority here against the Trevenant, which is going to be forcing the final shield. And thankfully, because of Empoleon's Steel Water typing, we're going to be able to get to the Drill Peck and survive a Seed Bomb if they get to it in time. Boom, we go down. But we had some energy already. And with Steel Wing, high energy, fast move. Uh, energy gain on the fast move we we're able to get to the drill pack and they have no shields remaining so boom good game very well played all right moving to the next one empoleon versus dragonite here on the lead uh shadow dragonite obviously a very strong pokemon we are using ourselves and you gotta fear the superpower so i'm gonna go ahead and uh charge attack priority them meaning making sure that if they're gonna throw on the charge move, I'm going to go ahead and throw as well to force them um, to uh, to shield, right? Unless unless they want to let the Dragonite go down, which they're going to go ahead and opt to shield. Now, they swap in a Lickitung, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Dragonair. Um, this is a situation where we could take Switch if we want to, but potentially soft losing might be the better call. Remember before how I w went for the Body Slam and I didn't get enough energy um, because I didn't give up shields in that situation the game before where I messed up this time I'm gonna look to do something different and and not shield and let this go because look at that health remaining There's a lot there now. We need to consider what is gonna be able to fast move down Better in time without getting hit with the charge move steel wing or dragon breath I'm gonna opt for dragon breath here I'm gonna come in with the dragonite and I'm gonna fast move down. I'm hoping for a lantern in the back and uh, we'll have to see what it's going to be. It's going to be an Empoleon. So not a Lantern, but a Reverse Core. And they swap into their own Dragonite, which allows me to come in with my Empoleon and farm down. And now they have their own Empoleon facing off against mine. And um, this is going to be this is going to be a good game. Now we're going to see something else. And I will pause um, when the time comes because it is a, currently a glitch in the game. It has been for a while. But it's rare that I've experienced it myself, but I experienced it today. And maybe you guys already know what, what might be coming uh, because, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's tough. So, what we're going to see. Mind you, let's look at the scenario in front, of, in front of us right now. They have no shields remaining. Zero. I have one. I win charge attack priority. I have Shadow Dragonite with superpower. I want you to look at where my charge moves are supposed to be. Watch what happens. They're not there. I don't get to throw a charge move against this Empoleon. Had I not saved the shield, I would have lost this game because of that. I should be winning this game because I should have superpower. So what you're gonna see is I have to shield and they have double charge moves, I believe. So now there's my super, they actually didn't have double charge moves, but that glitch is so annoying it happens it happens more often than it should but thankfully i was still able to win because i kept a shield right good game to my opponent but just fair warning that is that is a part of the game all right next one we have a clefable lead uh, now this is a really positive lead they swap in a polytoad so i'm going to go ahead and bring in the dragonite 
Uh, hindsight, maybe I bring in the Dragonair to this matchup. Uh, in case an Ice Beam does land, I won't take as much damage. Uh, but Body Slam, or not Body Slam, sorry, Dragon Claw and Dragon Breath is going to put in a lot of work. Now, obviously, I'm going to be shielding right here. Don't want to get hit with the Ice Beam. We want to maintain Switch Advantage. It is, in fact, Blizzard right there on their end, so pretty spicy. They wouldn't have gotten to two Ice Beams in time. Uh, anyways, and now it's going to be a Charm Cliff Fable. So this is, this is going to be... Uh, a good game so long as I have a decent matchup in the back. So we're going to go ahead and go for superpower now. Do as much resisted damage as possible. Um, but unfortunately, uh, I think my opponent left the game. We come in with Empoleon and yeah, I think they left. Um, yeah, so... Yep, there it is. This is going to be a good game. Now, we'll find out what they had in the back. They obviously need answers to steal. So we'll have to see what it's going to be. And it is going to be... Galarian Stunfisk. Okay. So, this is something that um, is kind of annoying. I What I wish the game would do is not have this, this delay, right? If your opponent leaves. Because what happens is you get stuck in these awkward situations where you have to throw the charge moves or whatever. The opponent's already gone. Now, granted, Galarian Sunfisk in the back would have lost to would have lost to this team as well. Ultimately, we had a triple hard counter. Not a triple hard counter, but uh, Empoleon Core broke the uh, Clefable and the Galarian Stunfisk. So that is going to be a good game. Very well played. All right, moving to the next one. Empoleon versus cast form sunny cast form this is spicy i love to see it i'm gonna be swapping out right away and they counter swap into a zoom roll faster than i swapped into dragon air okay um we're gonna go ahead maybe both of us um i, I guess i was more concerned because i'm not running waterfall um, but i was more concerned about uh the uh spam of what is it ember and uh weather ball is gonna be the move set now we're going to go ahead and let the Ice Beam go through because my play here with this team is to aggressively farm down with Empoleon. And that's what's really nice about Empoleon now in the meta with Steel Wing is Azumarill takes neutral damage from it. While you fully resist every single move that Azumarill has access to besides the fast move of Rock Smash, which I don't think they're ever going to buff because if they did, Azumarill would just become a different monster, right? And, and uh, Reggie Steel has that as well, I believe. So I don't think we'll ever see that fast move updated, uh, but we resist the play ref right there. As you guys can see, we get a very nice farm down. And now we have even shields and massive energy advantage. So let's see what they decide to come in with. It's going to be Ivysaur in the back. So this is actually a really spicy team by my opponent, bringing some very unique Pokemon. But thankfully for me, um, I have the Shadow Dragonite as they swap into Cast Form here to catch the Drill Pack. So a beautiful catch on their end. Thankfully for, or luckily for them, it's going to be uh, a Drill Pack. Five head play on there, but ultimately Shadow Dragon obviously was lurking in the back. I know their final two Pokemon, and they do decide to surrender. So that is going to be a good game, very well played. Unfortunately, Shadow Dragonite does not get to shred through those spicy Pokemon as we move into the final battle. Empoleon versus Nidoqueen. I haven't seen this Pokemon in a long, long time. Basically, like, what was it, 2022 was when... Nidoqueen was meta, um, beginning beginning part of 2022. Uh, Nidoqueen and Walrein was a very, very strong combination. If you guys were here then, you guys remember how good those Pokemon were. Nidoqueen Double Dark was an extremely meta combination. Uh, typically, Umbreon and Scrafty was back there, but you could see other Dark-type Pokemon. As uh, so I'm, I'm I'm anticipating maybe double dark, maybe the return of the Nidoqueen Queen double dark. So we're gonna go ahead and give up shields here, as we should be able to outpace. It is gonna be double earth power, which is perfect for us. I'm allowed to over farm now. I don't want to over farm too much, so I decide to swap into Dragonair because I don't want to get hit with a Charmer if it's back there, right? I I don't want that to avoid me. So we're gonna utilize Dragonair as a bait since we have three Pokemon, they only have two, and we have zero shields on both sides, saving the Empoleon just in case, just in case there is something like a Shadow Alola Ninetales or a Wigglytuff, or in this case, an Azumarill um, back there 
just in case, right? And there's plenty of energy on Empoleon where I can still leverage that. Um, and if there was like a Bastion on or whatever, right, we, we knock it out. So we're going to go ahead and come in with Empoleon. I'm hoping to be able to KO here with the Drill Peck. I wanted to do one uh, Steel Wing fast move because I know him, uh, the Azumarill is right to, about to be at a charge move, but they didn't get it in time. And then now it's actually going to be Talonflame in the back. So our Shadow Dragonite would have taken care of the Talonflame either way, uh, but that is going to be can't boom that one. That's going to be a good game. We're going to Dragon Breath down, get Dragonite in there to close this series out. This team was a lot, a lot of fun to use. Uh, very, very powerful in this meta, especially with all of these unique water type Pokemon that we are seeing, um, as well as uh, Lantern. I know it's a water type, but Lantern's pretty common. This team can do well against Lantern as well because of the just the dragon typing, right? The resistances and the dragon breath damage. And Napoleon, Shadow, Dragonite make for a fantastic core. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.